Welcome to A Guide To, with me, Mr Sealy P. Setting up or joining your own multiplayer game, or joining someone else's multiplayer game. That's what I'm going to have a quick look at. I was asked by a subscriber uh, a little while ago now, maybe a week ago, um, James, thank you very much, uh, just asked if there could be a tutorial for how to set up or to join a multiplayer game on PS4. It was actually quite a good idea. I don't know if there are any out there, many out there at all. It's quite straightforward to follow, but you know what? I thought I'd do it. So here we are. So from the main game screen, obviously we've got all our options, mod, hub and all the rest of it. We're going to want multiplayer. That's the first option to choose. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to join someone else's game and then I'll show you how to create your own game. Again, this may be teaching you to suck eggs if you know how to do this already. That's fine. But I thought I'd put it out there soon as I was asked. So, to join somebody else's game, if I just click X now on the PlayStation controller, choose your colour of shirt, whatever you should want it to be. And then you've got a selection of games available. Now, there may be one particularly you're looking for. You might want to be joining anyone. It's entirely up to you. If there's one in particular you're looking for, luckily for me, it's right at the top, but uh, top left hand corner, it gives you the options. There'll be exclamation marks if there are things on there that you don't have downloaded. There'll be um, a lock one on there if it's closed off for friends only, that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously the multiplayer options and things are available. Uh, there'll be whether or not it requires a headset or not is the next little picture. But anyway, uh, if I want to zoom in on something in particular, if I just press the um, directional arrow to the right, it takes you down to game name. I could just type in the game name I'm looking for if I want to. So, like so. Type in the game name, take me straight to it. If I come off that, but come down, I can choose the particular type of map. For example, Goldcrest Valley, no password, there is a password, I think, on the one I'm looking for. Languages, whatever language you want. No full games. Obviously, you can then take that on or off. So it takes out the games that are full because it's pointless to look at the ones that are full. You can't get on them. Maximum number of players. If it's an open game and you know it's going to be a max number of players, you can leave that. But if you know, for example, you're setting out with a friend and you're trying to join their particular game, it might be two, four, three, whatever it might be. Um, and then only downloaded DLC on or off. You can choose, you know, obviously knowing what DLC you have, it will then look for ones that have only got the DLC that you've got. So it filters it all out. You can pick all different options to find the particular map you're looking for. So I know if I press refresh now, which is square, based on those parameters, those are the three game options that are available to me. Now I know that I want the top one. So I'll scroll back up here to there and then back up so I can choose any one of those. Well, I know I want the top one. If I press X, it will allow me to join the game. However, in this case, it's not allowing me to. So if I press triangle for details, this screen comes up and this will tell me what DLCs I don't have installed. So if that person's running whatever DLCs they're running, it will go down the list and it will show you every single DLC they're running in that game and the ones with a red asterisk no exclamation mark asterisk exclamation mark are the ones that you don't have installed so what you can then do is whiz back out download them all install them all and then you can come back on and try again um, that was just to show you the option in case it doesn't work because you know if I just zoom straight through and join the game it'll be pointless um, so once you've installed all of those you come back out again next time you click X on it it should work perfectly and you should be able to join the game that is joining somebody else's game it's quite straightforward um, there are a few little places you can get tripped up obviously um, but that's joining someone else's game as far as creating your own game goes just as straightforward just follow the process through but we'll show you anyway so create game you're going to choose whatever map you want to do out of the maps you have installed I'm just going to click on the first one anyway 
and then you go down obviously if you've got that game you're playing it already you're going to have your whatever you've got installed on that game whatever DLCs already now if you come on this for the first time you start a new map actually you know what I think I'll do that if I go to my free save game if I click on one I'm going to start a new one normal I'm going to pick my map for example Sosnovka press continue choose my character it will have all of my DLCs highlighted so I'm going to go down pick whatever ones I want to use on that map okay so if I want to leave all of them I'm going to leave all of them that's entirely up to me the only downside with doing this if you're going to do multiplayer the more DLCs you have installed the harder it is for other people to join you because unless they've got all of those installed they can't join your game and to download all of those or install all of those could take ages by which time they're going to be bored and not want to even join your game so the less DLCs you can have installed on a multiplayer the better it is for people joining you unless you're a group that play regularly and you know what DLCs you've all got and you've got them installed anyway that's entirely up to you guys whatever you want to do so anyway so for example I'm going to leave this with all of these installed I'm now going to press continue and it comes to this page so I've got a few options now available to me so I can change the game name so I might have said to people on a previous video or I might have talked to my friends wherever at school work wherever I am and said oh I'm gonna set up a multiplayer the game name is going to be whatever it might be the one you use all the time if I press square I can change that game name if I want to then I come to maximum number of players again if you want it to be open with maximum on PlayStation 4 6 is the maximum can't go any higher than that um, but if I wanted it just to be two of us it was two friends playing or it might be three of you four of you five of you or six you can change the amount of players which is fine auto save that's during the game when you're playing on the multiplayer every so often I think it's is it 15 minutes or 10 minutes I'm not sure how often it is it will auto save the game so you don't have to remember to keep doing it but it does pause the game just fractions a few seconds it pauses I think it pauses for everybody um, so it'll pause the game while it auto saves um, then we've got our password option and again this is to stop random people coming on if you don't want people to come on and ruin your multiplayer game if it's just a group of you and you've decided on a password or again if you're doing it for subscribers or whatever you can put it out there on one of your videos and say the password will be and away you go um, so you can change that again if I press square I can change the password to whatever I want it to be auto accept is when the person tries to join the game they will automatically join providing they've fulfilled all the criteria they've put in the password they will automatically join the game if you turn that to off it will come up on your screen if you're hosting the game and you have to accept them manually you have to press a button to say yes they can join that gives you a bit more control if you want to screen people that are joining um, if they've met all the criteria I don't know why you would want to screen them I assume you've invited them um, and then allow only friends again this is one of those ones that if you're friends with a lot of people and you want to do a friends only game leave it on so it doesn't matter even if other people meet the criteria or they know it or they found out from somewhere but they're not a friend with you on PSN they won't be able to join if you turn it off anyone can join providing they meet that criteria that is it because as soon as I press start it will connect me to the server it will set up my game the game is being loaded please wait and then people can join uh, what will happen is when they join, especially when you've got auto uh, join on, is that it will come up at the bottom of the screen, synchronizing data, 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 however you say it, um, and that will go from 10% up to 100%. Once it hits 100%, they'll join the game, which is fine. And there you go, game set up, ready to go, and then people can join whenever they wish. That is it that is setting up or joining a multiplayer session on PS4 it is quite straightforward but sometimes you read some of those different things and I'm not quite sure what that means um, there might be one or two I might have got slightly wrong uh, so if I have stick it in the comments correct me if I'm wrong uh, you know if I've said something that's not actually accurate 
let me know. That's as far as I'm aware, what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. That's what's been the case. Um, but there you go. I hope this has been helpful, been informative and useful. If it has, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Should you wish to donate, that would be fantastic. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.